is Ryan Noodle, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do 180. Before you guys go out and try doing uh, 180s, you guys might want to learn fakies first. Because the main thing of a 180 is you have to learn the fakie. The fakie is probably one of the biggest parts of the 180. Because once you have the 180 down, the fakie is probably going to be hard if you don't already know how to do it. For a fakie, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is roll backwards. And if you have a cassette, you just pedal back with it. If you have a free coaster, then you have to free coast it so you don't pedal backwards. And basically the key thing for fakies is you just have to stick with it. It might be awkward because you aren't really used to rolling backwards, but pretty much just stick with it and if you turn this way or lean this way, then you'll go that way. But try to keep yourself steady and straight. I have pretty good fakies myself. I'm not gonna call it the best fakie. They're pretty sketchy sometimes. But that's only because I had a free coaster before and it helped my fakies a lot. And right after you guys get a decent fakie down and you guys have a fakie sound, then you guys can get right into the 180s. Once you guys have your fakie sound, then comes the real 180. The 180s a pretty simple trick once you get them down. It's really not that hard. You can throw them pretty much anywhere down stair sets, ledges, other grinds, anything. And the key thing for learning 180s is to make sure your bike is as comfortable as possible. And the thing is, is have decent hops at least, foot high, and you have to be comfortable with them. The next thing after that is you guys have to learn how to carve, which is pretty simple. You can you carve a little bit for the first time learning 180s, and you scoop up your bike, and then you hop and turn your head. And that will lead you to spin. And when I say turn your head, don't twitch it. You gotta turn your head. Because turning your head will move your body. Just be comfortable with it. The more, uh, the better you're comfortable with your bike and the more comfortable you are with hopping, the better that 180 will look. And pretty much, you guys will learn them eventually if you keep on trying and trying. And then right after you guys learn 180s, then comes 360s and more tricks. And basically, the key to learning 180s is to do them on a bank first. And I'll show you guys how to do that. I learned 180s was on banks, and basically what you do is you go up to a bank, or for say my driveway, and you carve a little bit, starting out you carve, and then you hop, spot your landing, and go right down. When I first started out, I thought I was doing them right, and I'd go 90, carve like a good 90, and hop a little bit, and I used to think that was a 180. That's not a 180. If any of your friends do that or anything, link them to this video. I'm telling you straight on, that's not a 180. I mean, at least you're getting the motion down, but it's not really helping you. What you gotta do is you gotta get a good card, pop, Once you have those dialed in, take it to flat. The key about 180's flat is to decently hop high. If you don't decently hop high, you're not going to do it. So, for a flat, it's basically the same thing as bank. Carve, lift up, 180. Starting out, shit out, looks up like this. And then once you get good with it, should start to look like these. You guys are watching this How to 180. Hopefully you guys learned 180s and got them dialed in from this video and hopefully it helped you guys. Once you guys learn these 180s, you guys can start to do them down. Stair sets, ledges, games of bikes, out of grinds, anything like that. And even, it's even good with combination tricks. I mean, who doesn't want to do a 180? It's good with bar spins, good with tail whips. It even tastes good. I mean, come on, it's a 180. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And comment anything in the next how-to. And uh, see you guys next time. Nate, yo.